I'm evaluating this Texas Instruments TDC 1000 uh, evaluation board with an ultrasonic uh, sensor uh, analog front end and um, today I'm going to mount the sensor and there is a few things that you need you need a container that can contain fluids uh, the sensor uh, glue CYA glue uh, alcohol to clean the the box here sandpaper uh, uh, a hot glue gun and a hot air gun so I have everything that's required to do the job here is an overview of what the required supplies are I have the glue and the accelerator or the activator the only thing that I found strange is that uh, the order in which to apply them in this manual is different than the order that is documented on uh, my glue kit but anyways uh, I have what's needed I have the plastic container uh, I have 400 grit sandpaper I have alcohol to clean my container before applying the glue I have a hot glue gun I have a transducer and I have an air gun so everything that I need is there the sensor that I'm using is this one from Stemming and let's now have a look at what we need to do to get everything mounted so the first thing we need is to take the container and roughen it with uh, sandpaper and you can see that my container that I was showing just a few seconds ago is looks very close to this one so I have I really have a similar item then you have to degrease it with alcohol uh, dry the area where you have the degreased it with uh, the hot air gun and apply the glue but according to my glue documentation it says to first apply the actuator so I'm going to follow those instructions uh, then uh, once actuator and glue are applied you have to put the uh, transducer on and keep it in place for a uh, for a good minute once the, the glue is dry you have to clean the area uh, then apply some alcohol again to clean everything dry it and uh, fill the whole thing with hot glue so the purpose of the hot glue is to dampen and to get an enclosure so that the waves only go inside the container and that you have as little as possible uh, side effects from the waves going sideways or backways hey I'll start with the first action and that is to cut some sandpaper here and uh, uh, clean out or roughen uh, one square centimeter in the container. Hey, that's done and you already hear that my hot air gun is uh, heating up. I now have to clean uh, that area up with isopropanol or another kind of alcohol. So I'll do that now and once that's done I'll use my hot air gun and dry up the area here. Now I'm going to do things differently than in the Texas Instrument Manual. My glue says to first apply actuator on both components and if it's an iron component to roughen it up. So I have done that. I have used my sandpaper to roughen up the piezo element. I'm now going to apply actuator on both, uh, on both components here on the container and on the actuator. Wait 60 seconds then put a drop of glue here, put the actuator, put the uh, sensor on and keep everything in place for a minute. Hey, and this actuator is like a sharpie so that explains why you have to apply this first you cannot apply it afterwards when the glue is already between the components the activator is applied on both components i've waited almost a minute so i'm now going to apply the glue and uh, put the sensor on the container the sensor is mounted and everything is okay i'm now going to clean up the area here with uh, uh, alcohol and then i'll apply the hot glue the glue gun is ready and I have to apply glue first to the outside of the sensor and once, once that's done I also have to uh, fill the inside up so that it's completely covered in hot glue. Okay, the, the one but last step is done. The sensor is surrounded by hot glue. I'm now going to apply it on the back too and once that's done I'm going to apply some air to cool the whole thing down. And that's it, the sensor is mounted on the container. Everything worked out okay, the whole sensor is now covered in hot melt on the back side and is tightly uh, mounted on the container. So we're good to go, from now on I can start my reliable measurements.